I don't really have any focus on one specific algorithm or like one specific area. As there are other roles which are more focused in research part of it, where you're building machine learning models, but you're not really taking care of all the prerequisite or like post requisite of data science. So yeah, data science is a broad field. There's a lot of different job roles, projects, languages, tools, all this crazy cool stuff in this big umbrella of data science. Mm -hmm. So how does someone choose like which niche to get into with data science? Oh, absolutely. That's that's a great question. So uh, I do often get this question where like people are like, hey, I like data science, but I don't know how to pursue it as a career. So there are like two ways to look at it. Uh, one, either you do find a specialization, uh, you do have an interest, let's say in natural language processing or like speech to text or like computer vision or robotics, etc. So like either you find your uh, specialization and work towards that, or you could be like me, like I don't really have any focused focus on one specific algorithm or like one specific area, but I like to solve industrial problems using data science. So I I am as happy solving hospital or like a medical use case as I am solving a financial use case. So just like building something which is being able to be used in like production or in business that gives me joy and that that's probably uh, I'm more passionate about. So you can either have a specialization or not have a specialization. But what is more important is to keep upskilling yourself like be uh, like very aware of what are the different technologies which are going on uh, right now. Uh, try to upskill yourself like I know like a lot of people think that yeah I'm good in coding but you can be better like keep upskilling yourself with your coding skills with your mathematics skills go like go back and revise your statistics books go back and revise your um, you know data visualization so it's always like good to learn more because there's a lot coming in which e each and every given day in terms of technology definitely good kind of follow-up to that mm -hmm. someone uh Karthik was asking, can you declutter the different data science roles? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe some of those different job roles that fall under data science. And what are some of those skills that are required for each of those that companies expect? Sure. So um, a couple of them, like I cannot really like list out everything, but a couple of them is, uh, let's say you're getting into an NLP role, which could be in companies who are dealing with chatbots, who are dealing with uh, virtual assistants. So they would require you to have specialization in NLP and they would require you to have done uh, like some projects uh, ahead of time uh, where you have been working in those technologies, you have built some solution. Those are like some of the specialization roles. Uh, there the are- NLP other, is natural, natural language. language processing, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, you could also be working for other companies like who have been dealing with robotics. So you're basically using sensor data and, uh, you know, like using that for building machine learning algorithms and in turn using that for any business purpose. So those are also different kinds of roles. There is one of the like uh, one of the roles I often come across is data scientist versus a machine learning engineer. So when it comes to a machine learning engineer role, that's more inclined towards software engineering, where you would be required to do version controlling, you would be working on the end to end productionalizing pipeline. So that would lead you to do like, um, you know, unit testing, doing GitHub versioning, doing model deployments, model testing, etc. Whereas there are other roles which are more focused in research part of it, where you're building machine learning models, but you're not really taking care of all the like prerequisite or like post requisite of data science. So you are just focusing on the crux or the model part of it. And you you do like intensive research, like building new models, uh, getting new data, trying to explore how can you optimize the algorithms with better accuracy, less amount of uh, time to be used to compute, etc. So yeah. So there are like very different roles. Uh, there are also some roles in consulting or uh, like the kind of role which I'm working on where I work closely with clients and try to you know solve their business use cases using data science. So that gives you a very vast experience uh, and gives you like a lot of exposure in different industries. So these are probably some of the data science roles in like um, different sections of data science and industry. This has been so much fun. Give a, a clap, a thumbs up, a cheers to Ashwarya. Yeah, this has been a pleasure. So thank you so much, Ashwarya. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thanks so much again for hanging out with us at Shine Coaching. We really want to help you guys succeed in your cross-cultural journeys. We'll see you next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers, everyone.